Nick DeSanctis here with your Army Hockey Report. Day two at West Point for the Pittsburgh Penguins. They were on the ice this morning, out and about West Point this afternoon. We'll hear from the Pittsburgh Penguins and their head coach, Dan Belisma, coming up along with an Army assistant captain. But first, here's a look at the Penguins Saturday. Pretty surreal. It's awesome having the guys here. Just, I mean, watching their practice, seeing their habits on and off the ice. It's, it's good stuff. It's awesome. I mean, just kind of the intensity they bring every every shift. Like, I think Sidney Crosby scores every every single puck he shoots out here. So just kind of that that drive to score every time. You know, just kind of how lucky we are to be at a school like this. You know, no, not many not many schools get that type of opportunity to be able to have have a pro team come and uh, hang out with us and you know check out what we do every day. It's kind of a, obviously pretty unique for us. I think uh, getting the chance to to see the uh, you know, how things are run here and the structure here, and and uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think yesterday, especially going in for, for lunch in the, in the mess hall there and having uh, you know 4,000 people eating at one time, and it's uh, it's a pretty cool experience. And uh, they got some good facilities too, so it's a good uh, good spot to practice for sure. It's definitely a, uh, a pretty uh, unique unique situation for them. And, uh, obviously, it's a great chance for them to get their their schooling and and uh, for the ones that play sports that that too. But uh, um, you know what they're what they're signing up for and what they're they're striving for is uh, something that's pretty special. And I think uh, you definitely can learn a lot from them. I mean, it's good. Uh, you know, it's good to get away. We've had uh, you know a good solid month of uh, of camp here and uh, you know getting ready for the season. So uh, a few new guys and uh, you know it's good to get away and have some good practices and you know do some team stuff together. It's uh, you know cool to see and uh, you know the responsibilities they have uh, every day with their uh, 
with their schooling and uh and then come to the rink and uh you know being an athlete so it's a pretty crazy schedule and uh you know we got a lot of respect for them just uh, become closer with all the guys um, the new guys in the room especially you get to know them a little more and um just take how uh, all the cadets are um just uh it's like a huge family here it seems like so far after day one and uh just get, getting to know them and uh, the people that serve the country. In, in particular, um, you know, we're team oriented, team units. Um, you know, we talk about uh, groups of five on the ice together, and um, we certainly are here to, to uh, have practice for three days and, and uh, have some work together on the ice. But uh, team and leadership and, and uh, uh, that process is something we're also uh, off the ice uh, doing with our group and, and here at West Point with uh, uh, the best leadership institution in the world. Well, there's, certainly, um, there's certainly a lot of parallels between uh, the chain of command, military unit, team, and, and uh, um, playing your role in that team and your, and your spot in that team. Um, I don't want to go too far down the road of, of making the, the sacrifices that these uh, individuals are making and will make. Uh, and so I don't like to go too far down that road and, and make too many comparisons. But in terms of leadership and, and uh, being a part of the team and, and chain of command and, and following and being a part of that team, there's certainly lots to, lots to learn from, pay attention to, and, and get while we're here uh, at West Point.